Welcome back to our Henry Rousseau animal drawings. We just got finished with drawing the monkey in the last session. Now you can flip your paper over for the last one and we're going to draw this giraffe. Okay, so for the giraffe, the giraffe is probably the hardest one out of all of them to draw. That's why I saved it for last. Um, and you're going to start with kind of a, a rounded triangle. You're going to start up here with the curved line in the middle of your paper and go down straight, curve the corner of your triangle, curve the corner of your triangle, and come back like that. Okay, so it's a curved triangle. Then, off your curved triangle, you're going to take a circle. Right up here at the top, you're going to make it, I don't know, maybe a pinky width over from your curved triangle. You're going to put a circle right here, a smaller circle. This is going to be his head. Okay, our two basic shapes. Then down here, um, you're going to start by doing his neck. You're going to start on his back. And you're going to kind of start a curved line up to meet that circle. Then from his chest about here, you're going to start a curved line out to meet that circle. Like that. And in the past, some kids have told, told me this looks like a chicken leg. Um, I can see that in there. Um, but that's kind of the basic shapes that we want. Then you can take your eraser and erase the top of your curved triangle shape and the bottom of the head circle so it's all kind of one continuous shape. All right. Then <clears throat> we're going to draw the legs. Okay, we're going to start with two circles. We're going to put a circle kind of halfway down right there right below the bottom of the triangle and here right in front of the triangle at the same kind of area right here like that and we're going to start with the back leg we're going to kind of curve and angle right towards that circle and then when you get there bump out around it for his knee and then straight down and over for a flat foot then you're going to start up here and straight down on a diagonal towards the knee, bump out around the knee, and then straight down and a little curved line up and down for the foot. Okay. Then we're going to do the front leg, and you're going to start at the, the chest right here and go straight down into that circle, bump around the circle, straight down, curved over for the top of the foot. And then you're going to start about here, and again, angle straight towards that circle, bump out around it, straight down, and a flat line for the bottom of the foot. Okay. Then, um, I'm going to say, notice how these lines are overlapping here. You're going to take a curved line from here, down, and up to the other one. That's for his belly. Okay, now we're going to erase and you're going to erase the inside of your triangle line so it looks like that okay you've got those legs drawn on and you've got his belly in there still then we're going to draw the second set of legs the ones in the back here you're just going to follow parallel line right around what you've got and a straight line back there's our second back leg and on the inside of here straight line down bump out for the other knee and then straight over for your front leg and you can shade those in a little bit just so they look like they're in the back all right there we go then you're gonna do the tail the tail comes right off the back of this triangle just a curvy triangle down like that and then they have a little fluff of fur on the bottom of their tail now we're going to move up to the head okay the head looks like this it's kind of the, we're going to start with the, the mouth the mouth almost looks like a triangle going to come down bump out and then straight back like that almost like a duck bill and then a curved line down and over like that Okay, next you're going to draw a little circle for his eye, right there. And then you're going to draw the two little like alien antenna. A little straight line up and a curved 
circle at the top, straight line up, curved circle at the top. Then they have like a mane on their neck, almost like a, a lion, or sorry, not a lion, a horse. And it can just be kind of a wiggly line like that, and it does go all the way down into the middle of their back. Then, um, to make it really look like a giraffe, what you got to do is put the uh, pentagon shapes on. There's like, I think there's like eight kinds of giraffes out there in the world. I could be wrong. Um, there's two more, uh, the, the two more common ones, and they all pretty much have like some variation of a pentagon shape. So a pentagon is a five-sided shape, right? One, two, three, four, five. And then those are usually the like a dark brown and the uh, other fur in between is like a yellowish color. Now, from looking at the pictures that we looked at on our PowerPoint, we saw that the big or the center of his body had the bigger pentagon shapes, and that as the pentagons went up towards his head and out towards his legs, they got smaller and smaller. And so you can kind of echo that in your drawing as you get further out towards the legs they get smaller and smaller and some of them might not even look like pentagons because they go around the edge of his body right Okay, and just to make him look really tall, we'll put the horizon line on right down here at the bottom. All right, and there's our giraffe for our Henry Rousseau rainforest jungle paintings.